just need to reassemble. What's going on guys, RBG back with another video on the aforementioned Avengers project. I would consider this an update, but it's really not. Just more rumors toppled onto the rumors that were alluded to by Square Enix. About a month ago, Square's president Yosuke Matsuda told investors to look forward to this year's E3 for a big reveal. Now many fans believe that this reveal will in fact be the Avengers project. I'm still a little reserved on what I want to believe, but if I were to take a guess, it would be that we'll be getting an update for FF7 Remake. That seems like the most likely candidate now that Kingdom Hearts 3 is pretty much wrapped up. Final Fantasy VII Remake was revealed a couple years prior to the Avengers project, so I can imagine that it had more time put into its development. And since Square has sort of taken on a different marketing strategy as opposed to just showing various trailers before giving an actual release date, they've kind of calmed down on giving updates for games. Because if you remember a couple years back, rumors started swirling around that Tetsuya Nomura wanted to show off some new footage, but Square didn't want to release any more trailers and instead opted to focus on the projects that they were close to completing. And this marketing strategy might be the case for the Avengers project. Like, I can imagine that Square doesn't want to show anything until they have a firm grasp on the concept they're going for and when the deadline will be for the release. Because we've seen when they constantly shell out trailers, it has a negative effect on the game's sales. Another possible reason why updates for the Avengers project and FF7 Remake have been on ice is because Square is probably waiting for a new next generation console. And this isn't anything new, like we've seen them do this with FF15 where they kept revealing shit for the PS3 for 10 years and eventually they announced it for the PS4 and Xbox One and later the Windows. It seems like we're getting closer to the tail end of this generation of console lifespans, so I wouldn't be surprised if Square is just sitting on their hands and wait for the PS5. They've already come out and said that the console market is a shell of what it used to be and that they want to use games like Final Fantasy VII Remake to revitalize the consumer interest. If any game can do that, it's definitely Final Fantasy VII and I think that it'll be the update that they're talking about at this year's E3. The Avengers project just doesn't seem like something they're prioritizing on at the moment. But there are still some things to keep us somewhat excited. Just over a year ago in April, Ron Rosenberg, co-head of Crystal Dynamics, said that the development of the Avengers project is progressing tremendously fast. The company also published a variety of job postings including leadership positions in level and single player campaign design. And the job postings repeatedly emphasized that the game should have strong multiplayer elements and the designers would be responsible for creating new online experiences. Since then, we haven't really heard that much about the Avengers project. Of course, we got the occasional tweets from some of the guys working on the game who pretty much reassured us that they were working around the clock to give us this new title. And hearing more about how Crystal was opening up new studios to expand their development roster gave us preconceived notions that the development was full speed ahead. But there weren't many indications that we would be getting anything about the game this year. About a week ago, Google announced that there was going to be a special panel at the Game Developers Conference 2019 and Crystal Dynamics was going to be one of the developers that would be attending. Not only that, but we had two big gaming juggernauts that would be also joining. Game writer and narrative designer Amy Hennig and game designer Ralph Coaster. And this is news that raised my eyebrows guys because with job listings still being open for the Avengers project, Amy Hennig and Ralph Coaster would be perfect additions to add to the team. Amy Hiddick is by far one of the best writers in the industry and is widely responsible for big games like the Jack and Daxter and Uncharted series. She's basically the mother of Nathan Drake so that should be enough validation to show how much of a big deal she is. Just last year it was reported that she would be leaving EA after the cancellation of a highly anticipated Star Wars game she had been working on for years. The project was only shown in a teaser trailer at EA's E3 2016 conference, and in October of that following year, EA's executive vice president announced that the publisher was shutting down Visceral and pivoting the design of Star Wars game from a linear to story-based adventure to a broader experience that allows for more variety and player agency. In other words, the new Star Wars game was being changed to an open world adventure. This was some devastating news that still burns to this day, but it looks like there might be some light at the end of the tunnel, at least for Amy. If this press conference is alluding to Amy joining forces with Crystal to work on the Avengers project, it will officially confirm that the game will be as ambitious as Square is making it out to be. And I think that Amy would work well with Crystal, because before she worked with companies like Naughty Dog, she worked on games like the Legacy of Kain series, which was published by Crystal Dynamics. Ralph Coaster, on the other hand, has tons of experience developing MMORPGs, having worked for a long time in Ultima Online and Star Wars Galaxy. 
He also fits in those roles described in the positions announced by Crystal. So I think you see where I'm coming from. Currently, since the panel has started, there hasn't been any details on what has been announced. And I think the conference ended a couple days ago, and if you weren't attending, then you wouldn't know what was unveiled. But I'm hoping that we at least got the two big names I mentioned as new additions to the development team on the Avengers Project. I really want this game to be good from a narrative and gaming aspect, so Amy Hennig and Graf Coaster would be perfect. But anyways, let me know what you think. Do you think we could be getting news on the Avengers Project at this year's E3? And do you think that Raph and Amy would be great additions? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I ask that you like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, it can be a thumbs down. Any feedback is good feedback and will only help me improve on my channel. But if you really enjoyed the video, it would help me out tremendously if you shared it on social media outlets with all your friends and followers. Sharing really makes a difference. But this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.